Evening all. Of course, it's really tough to take. Um, twice in seven days for us uh, with a late goal, and we lost the chance to to add more points for our table and for the performance that we have, the way we have been playing. Um, it's really tough to, to take. But different one. This one is different because I think we were the best team on the pitch. We deserve much more from the game, definitely. Um, last week was slightly different. Um, this from the first minute, the way we tried, the way we played, much better second half even than the first. I we we had um, a shot during the half time what we we should improve and uh, the things that we haven't done uh, so well during the first half. Our second half was even better than the first one. We did it well. We created chances. We equalized the game and unfortunately conceded a goal in a moment that. Uh, we wanted to score the second, but uh, the, the moment was under control, and uh, the way they they, they, they they score the second goal is really tough to take because um, this Premier League, you know, and in a moment we switch off and they, they, they punish you. I think that our boys, they for sure, they, they, they don't deserve it. Um, our fans as well, the, the crowd was always there um, helping us. It's a cruel football sometimes, it's cruel as well, but. I know that I said last week, and I will repeat again, we have to learn this type of moments because you are playing Premier League and um, this type of things happen if you switch off in some moments of the game. Sonia. Hi, Margaret. How tough is it to go into such a long break now? Because obviously you want to get back out there and bounce back from it, but you've got to wait five weeks until the next game. It's tough to take. Of course, will be, it's tough tonight. It will be probably tough for me um, tomorrow. and. Uh, that's it. I want the, the players to now to have a small break. Uh, of course, wish all the best for the players that they go for the World Cup. Um, it's a, a great tournament, and they, they they deserve it to enjoy and to all the best for them. The players they, they they will have now a small break here, and after we have to start to work hard to, to come back stronger. And that is the, the the way. We will not come back thinking that we lost this game in last minute or that we lost the game uh, one week before in the last minute as well. We have to come. It's moments for us to work on, on this type of moments to to improve and we have to come stronger as a team. Let's hope everyone will come in the best physical conditions they can, the, the players that they came from the the World Cup as well, because of course we all together and all fit we are we are strong as a team. And will you be watching it sort of hoping that no one comes back with a serious injury? No, I will be watching, I will be analyzing, I, I'll be I will enjoy as well some some games and uh, I hope of course um, not just our players, all the players they come in a, in a good physical conditions to to be, be ready for the second half of the season. Peter, um, Marco, uh, Jao Felini seems to really enjoy those slight tackles. Um, we've seen that all season. Today, he seems to kind of have a positive play. He seems to really sort of relish the occasion, relish the, the opportunity to get stuck in. Um, what is it about this game that you've been able to sort of prove to elevate this year, and why is it that the system so well? No, we did. It's tough to talk in detail about this game, about this, the performance of our team when we we lost the, the way we we did it. But okay, he did he did very well, very good game from him. Um, as I said to you, of course, we are working with him, in some um, setups, some positional moments as well. He's, he's improving on the ball. Is something really important for us and. Uh, much more better decisions tonight than some games before. Against Everton, he did really well here as well. He's improving every every time. He's being everything more clear for him in our in our build up. The way we want to lick the game with with him as well, and it was a great performance. And you know um, what he's doing is everything what we expected from him. Of course, probably he's being really quick his adaptation and uh, and all the things. But what to expect a player that will come to to cover um, many things in our. The way we want to play, to, the way we want to give more freedom from the other, for the other two midfielders as well, he, he, he is a really important player for us. But on the ball, is really important as well, and it's something that we are working with him and he's keep improving. I'm pleased, of course, for him, and uh, much more uh, will come from in the future. Is he still playing with the? the he's still wearing the wrist. Yes. He's still got broken wrist or broken hand. No, he, he's still playing. I think he's more precaution now than than, than something more. Um, let's hope in the in the future he will take as soon as he can that situation. So no, 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 not at all, at all. In, in training as well, I mean, when you have a fellow like that, does he still throw himself into challenges? No, 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 no,
in football if you you have to train the way you play. Um, if not, it's impossible. You, you cannot uh, separate one thing than the other. Um, today, if you don't prepare yourself well during the week, you cannot you cannot perform. You cannot have this intensity that our team played again tonight. I think the intensity that we played from the first minute, it was tough for them to, to fall in some moments. Um, that shows that you are in the right way. And answer direct to you, of course, João. Um, is the way he train every day. Is the way he prepare himself every every single day. Um, during the, the, the week. You don't have to tell him to take it easy. You don't have to tell him to take it easy. No, 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 not at all.